What's up, Goober Nation? Kate and TXD here, back at it again with another bad game for you guys. And today is another how to play video. If you are new to the series, let me give you a brief explanation. Since I know how to play a good bit of the roster, I am taking my time out to teach you new players or players that want to learn a specific character how to play that character. However, I won't teach characters that I am unfamiliar with playing. That should be pretty obvious. I don't want to feed you anything false. No matter what, I won't teach the following characters. Base Koo, God Koo, Blue Koo, Male Earthling, and Hit. There are four important topics you need to know to understand the character that you are learning. Those topics being strengths and weaknesses, recovery, combos, and stamina breaks. These four are the essential things that you need to know to understand your character. By popular demand, let's take a look at our character for today. If you haven't been paying attention to my comments section, it is very apparent that people want a guy for the female Majin. And luckily for you guys, I'm able to play said character pretty well. I don't particularly see a lot of female Majins anymore since they nerfed to their stamina region, but I'm here to teach you guys how to actually play the character and not just 3 bar stam cheese your way to a victory. But anyways, let's get into what makes this character strong. Easily the first strength we have to talk about is their recovery. Out of all the CACs in the game, female Majins have the most recovery options. Having the ability to dash cancel, guard cancel, and step cancel out of 90% of your combos is a real threatening tool to have. It's very hard to keep up with a character that can outmaneuver you at any given time. Not to mention that there is so much freedom when it comes to the choice of supers. Because female Majin moves are so versatile, you can pretty much stick a lot of the supers and alts on them and it will work. The next strength we have to talk about is their super melee damage. I don't believe I am exaggerating when I say this, but female Majins have the strongest melee super damage out of all CNCs. So on top of having good recovery and versatile combos, they also have the damage to back it up. Sheesh, that's pretty damn scary. Alas, all good things have their downsides to them. One of the female Majins bad sides is their lack of basic attack damage. Even though they boast a mean melee super game, the scaling on their combos aren't that high, so it's not threatening if you get looped by them a couple times. The combo that does good damage is not something you use because its reliability online is trash. You're gonna have to get close to maxing out your basic attack stat and have a super soul that buffs basic attacks to see to really see that damage that you are looking for. Along with having little basic attack damage, they give back stamina a lot. You may be confused to what that means, so let me give you an explanation. You see, when characters are in an upright state and are getting hit, they generate less stamina regen. But when they are in this off balance state, they regen stamina faster. Don't ask me why that is, it's just how it be. Characters that have a lot of combos that make you off balance are bad for them, especially if their stamina break revolves around them being off balance. Now you have to make sure they are at one bar or less to guarantee your stamina break, just so that you can secure it without having to worry about if their stamina is going to come back in time. It would be fine if your basic attacks did damage because it's a trade off. Your opponent isn't going to want to eat that damage, so they will be forced to either vanish or evasive. Unfortunately for Majins, it's a double negative. Low basic attack damage plus give back stand means there's a free opportunity for the opponent to just eat hits. If that wasn't bad enough, let's talk about that recovery again. Yes, it is amazing to have, and when that recovery can be used against you is when it becomes a problem. You see, most of the good characters with great recovery have great stagger as well. What I'm trying to get at is that female Saiyans have too many gaps in their recovery. If you don't know what a gap is, let me explain. A gap is Xenoverse's way of telling you your block strength is not true. In most combos, there is a small window of opportunity that allows players to stop blocking and block again to get a perfect block. This promotes the reason behind mash blocking, or they're just weird and don't know how to actually block. Sometimes it's very connection dependent on what combos have gaps. So be mindful when trying to read people. It may come off as match blocking. But don't be a loser is basically what I'm saying. If even after learning all of that, you still want to learn this character's combos, let's get into it. 
Now, I'm not going to go through every combo because I feel like it isn't necessary to teach if it isn't going to be put to good use. Make sense? I hope so. There is also going to be an online and offline version for, of every combo to show you that it does in fact work. I don't want any of you Twitter finger weirdos in the comments telling me it doesn't work. Your internet just fucking sucks. In every video, I am going to start with the first five inputs of squares. Simply because for every character you play, you should remember the first five square inputs. The reasoning behind this is that if you remember what it looks like, you'll instantly know your options to go into. Whether it be into triangles, recovery options, stand break, or easy knockback damage. The fact that you know the in and outs of the most basic combo is very fundamental to learning any character you play. Now that we got that out the way, let's look at the one of the main combo strings for Majin's, Square Triangle. Square Triangle is easily one of the most used strings for female Majin players. The amount of options you have behind this combo string is totally ridiculous. This string is what male Earthling Square Triangle would look like if it was balanced. Like I'm not even joking, they are so similar, it's a little scary. Guard pressure, easy knockback damage, limit burst bait. If you are expecting footage for this, then you should stop now. I'm way too bad at the game to accomplish this feat, and I can hear Ty calling me ass somewhere in his dorm. Fuck you, Ty. Easy setups with supers and alts, great recovery, dash cancels. This string can pretty much do everything. Relying on this is not bad, but do remember the Majin's weaknesses going forward. Next up on the list of strings are all triangles. This string is only really used for two distinct purposes. The first being it's a decent damaging string and it's a hard knockdown when close to the ground. That is the reason why Goku vanishes. While close to the ground, you can do a lot with it. You can do some infinites, a super for good damage, or an ult if their stamina is broken. Oh, and the reach this string has is actually really slept on. It may not have Namekian or male Majin range, but it does cover a good distance. Don't be afraid to throw this out every once in a while in neutral. Do be careful though of the fourth input. You cannot key cancel out of it until that second kick animation finishes. The second purpose is to go on other combos, which we'll talk about right now. There isn't really more to say about all triangles. It's a pretty generic combo, but it does get the job done. Onto our next string, which is 100% the most used string on female margins, and that is triangle square. Not to get it confused with square triangle, Triangle Square does everything that Square Triangle does, but arguably even better, while having more utility than Square Triangle does. On top of having everything the Square Triangle has, it can also go into a stamina break, it can be done from dash attack or step vanishing, it has a way ton more mix potential than the Square Triangle will ever have, and it even has a grab like feature where if you vanish it, you'll probably still get caught in it. Sometimes. The last combo we have to look at is the dash attack combos. This string is really good and really bad all at the same time. Where do I even start? Okay, so first things first, there are two iterations of the dash attack strings. The first being a square version and the triangle version. Before we get into the differences between them, let's start with the first three inputs of the dash attack string. Ideally, this string has a lot of offense. Easy knockback city with just those three inputs. So if you want to keep things nice and simple, there's that option. Not to mention that it also has great limit burst beat. Honestly, the more I think about this character, the more I realize that this character is just anti-limit burst. The character. I don't I don't know how to put it. I might need to invest more time in Baby Girl, you know what I'm saying? Because female Majins are kind of crazy. This character is literally one good buff away from being the most broken CAC in the game. I'm talking like cooler levels of good. It's kind of nuts. Anyways, let's get into the iteration of the combos now. First we'll be starting with the squares. The square iteration is mainly for doing some solid damage and keeping close to the ground. This combo allows for easy setups into a lot of supers and ultimates. Me personally, having access to knockdown combos is really good because you have more options to do damage with. Or if you're that guy that loves throwing hands, you can just do all triangles and keep doing the infinite. The second iteration is triangles. The triangle iteration is more of a mixed string. You can pretty much control the neutral with this combo simply because it can lead into so much. Once you knock them in the air, you have about 9,000 ways you can go about it. Realistically speaking, there's so many different options to decide from when you do the triangle combo. You've got a bait option, you've got a super, you've got all, you've got so many different ways to go about it. It's pretty safe combo too. But the more I look at this character, the more I realize that this CAC is probably 
the most versatile in the game. If your brain is omega fat and you can predict what your opponent is going to do, playing female Majin is the way because you have so many options that I don't think anybody's really going to be like, unless your playstyle is like mad predictable, I don't think anybody's going to be able to like pinpoint what your next move is. All right, now that we've gone over their combo strings, let's talk about their recovery. Now, female Majins have many ways to escape from pretty much everything. I'm not going to take too much of your time, so I'll try and keep this simple. Square triangle, triangle square, and dash attack can guard, dash, and be key cancel from. So you have little excuse as to why you got hit by a slow ass Nameki. Realistically, the only ways you get hit utilizing all of this is through priority. Characters with priority do not care about your ability to recover simply because you'll never recover quicker than their dash attack. Characters that have crazy priority are characters that you should be mindful of when going against. Good examples of this are Goku, Hit, Gohan, Evolve Vegeta, and Fu. When you are playing the neutral game, try to mix up all of your strings instead of doing the same dash attack constantly. Eventually, your opponent is going to understand the timing of your attack and start reading you. You have to utilize every option to mix people up with. On top of having some good supers that can also help with that, I do feel like female Majins don't need backflip. But if you want to throw that on your character, be my guest. Moves like Faint Crash, After Image, and Dragon Blitz all help with that recovery focused playstyle. Remember as well that your combos have unlimited ability to move, so if you're getting stuck you need to work on your movement and training some more. Those in the comments who are female Majin mains do give more advice to those that want to learn more about this character. What I've gone over is pretty much the character standard. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more depth to this character, especially if you are factoring super souls and super moves. All right, now that that's it, last but not least, let's get you guys to your stamina breaks and show you a little gameplay on female Majins.
To summarize this character, utilize your strong recovery to mix your opponent. Follow that up with super strong melee damage and finish them off. Be wary of characters with strong priority and mind your gaps. If your opponent is good at perfect blocking, adjust your playstyle so that you won't get punished every time you engage. That's been all for me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Comment down below what character you want to see next. And I just got to say, I'm back. Peace out, guys.